All right, welcome back, friends. We are we are back for another episode here. Uh, maybe I should make sure I know where I'm going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's basically okay. So supposedly there's this new Bream spot and. If for no other reason, we probably ought to let the other spot rest a little bit. Um, let's go try the, this new Bream spot. Folks on my chat channel are actually the ones that uh, that found this, I guess. I mean, that's the first I've heard of it. Um, but apparently there were some nice ones, nice ones caught. In fact, I think. Uh, Sorry if I get your name wrong. I think Adoras, I think that's your name. In game, at least, uh, might have caught a um, a water body record on float down here. But let me remember what they were saying to do. They were clipping 18, so a little longer clip and straight east. This is kind of odd, huh? It's right into that hole. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. 18 clip. Oh, that just made it. All right. So let's see if we can make this spot work for us. Uh, I think I still have the smaller hook on one of these, don't I? Because I want to say that they were also catching white bream out of this spot. Yeah, this has got a 10. We're going to try this. Uh, we're, we're going to try some spots today on this episode. We'll see how long we go. Maybe that we get a second night of bream fishing. According to how this spot goes, we may. Um, this is a weird spot, isn't it? Hope there's no ghost snags here. All right. Man, we got to eat some food. Our fisherman is hungry. We've got to drink some coffee. I'm pretty sure they said cast straight east, 18 meter clip, bream spot. But what I actually want to do is try to uh, fish with wheat seeds for tench, which may mean we need to make some more fake tench mix. But I think it was, was it skillful. Dang it, I need to check. It's kind of embarrassing that I don't don't know for sure. I tell you what would be great. If you have any spots at Old Berg or Quarry or eventually Bear when we get there that you want me to try, if you think of if you think about it, send it to well, it's fine. You can send it to whichever spot, whichever account you want to. A lot of people are sending suggestions and feedback and stuff on, to my main account, which is just MDog. But if you are wanting me to test it for the leveling video or like lower level stuff, then it's sometimes helpful to send it to this account or whatever account I'm currently leveling on. Ah, don't worry about it. That's my problem, not yours. I'm getting no bites. Am I doing something wrong here? We're like right in the heart of bream time. 47, 37, we're in the right spot. Cast east. And I'm pretty sure they said 18 clip. But come on now, there's no way we can be this long at a spot. Maybe it was... Maybe it was just float fishing, huh? I don't know. Seems weird. Well, we're starting to get bites now. Guess that's a good sign. All right, let's see what we've got on here.
It's not even a bream. Okay. I I think we go to our regular spot here. Do I have the right stuff on? Garlic dough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're good. All right. I mean, several people were talking about this, so y'all tell me what I'm doing wrong, or maybe I'm just having bad luck or something. Let's, let's salvage this while it's still bream time before we go uh... before we go tench fishing okay yeah so Doris is saying that his his record setting his record setting bream was uh was here so i don't know i i, I could have sworn people were talking about anyway it's it's fine it is what it is i don't think i marked it i mean i don't think i clipped it right right let's just catch some bream so much for letting this spot rest so all the spots we try I'm not going to be able to tell. Oh, this is miserable. If you if you log on to an account on a different computer, it like resets. The, it's like the messages or the order the messages are in are tied to the computer you were on when you got them or something. I don't know. It's weird. So anyway, I'm not going to be able to tell. I'm pretty sure it was skillful. Goodness, I, I'll find out. And if I log on on my main account and I see it with somebody else, I'll have to correct myself on the next video. But uh, he had mentioned a couple of tinch spots he was trying out and using these... Um, using these these wheat things and uh, so I want to try it what's the biggest float thing we have here 4.8 4.8 line I don't have a leader Got a tin hook garlic dough can we try this I can't get 15 meter clip. What am I talking about? I'd have to use a bolo rod. Even then it's suspect, right? How far in do we think these bream go? Honestly, I've never even tried to fish for bream with floats. As much as I fish for bream. can't use ground bait we don't have a leader we don't have fluorocarbon line it just sounds like a disaster I'm not ready I'll have to try that on my main account use match rods that could be fun uh, we might give that a try that could be fun but let's just let's just stay focused here let's make some silver so we can go enjoy some tinch fishing and see what happens we'll use about size 10 hooks for the fin for the tinch I think with those wheat seeds, let's see how good it is. We're gonna try it at a couple different spots, maybe. Whoa. I gotta be watching. 
like with this smaller leader i can't just pick up the 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 rod and just start going after it uh without looking got to be a little more on top of it than that That was a cool spot. It just seemed dead. But it was like that idea of casting straight down that hole, right? It was kind of neat. It's too bad it, it, it wasn't alive. It wasn't alive for me. Uh... Alright, so there's that one. And then... That one. By the way, after I stopped recording the last episode, I went ahead and sold that trophy bream. I knew I wouldn't get back. It's been hours already, so I have no idea if that trophy bream order ever came back or not, because Honestly, all night I spent fishing at, um, for the last several hours when I've had time, I've just been fishing at Amber for, uh, for carp. I'm a little carp obsessed right now. That's why I'm hoping we can, we can, uh, continue to make progress on this account and actually get to bear and try to figure out some low level carp fishing as well. I know there's been a lot of questions lately about rigs, rig types, uh, boilies, how to use dip. How to make it work when you don't have PVA, all that kind of stuff. Because really, until you get to method, which is where's where's method? Can't even find it. Dang, ninety percent. So you can't you can't really use ground bait directly into your rig with the use of any boilies, which is kind of why I feel like they came out with dips, sort of to supplement the, that fact. But it gets expensive for a low-level player. You kind of have to figure out, like, okay, what's working right now? But kind of, kind of what I want to do too, though, and this is like scary town, especially with our current gear. But I kind of want to experiment at bear. Ooh, we're getting the big boys on this third rod right now. I want to experiment with bear at that uh, at that golden tench barbel spot, but we're gonna get wrecked. We're gonna catch some random. First of all, some of the big barbels will wreck us if we catch those. But certainly the uh, occasional mirror carp or grass carp or whatever is going to also do us in could get really ugly really fast i don't know if we should do it with this gear or wait i really don't feel like you should go to bear until you have an alpha at least one alpha to to be able to like actually stand a chance against some of the carp and then and even with that you probably got to overload it a little bit and then, um, you know, at least one Sabre 60 and kind of like hedge your bets with that one. Try not to get too big a carp, but do some carp fishing. And then your third rig, if you don't have another Sabre or second Alpha or something, your third rig, like level 18, your third rig, you can, uh, I didn't put ground bait, just maybe go for small fish, you know, a real small hook, just play it really safe. In some spots that's possible, some spots it's probably not, but. And the bream are coming in and we're leveling fast. Getting some silver, getting some XP. So our um, last session, our trophy came in at about, do y'all remember? Holy cow. 
what have we done to this poor run? Um, I think it was probably... Maybe between 6 and 7 a.m. Maybe between 5 and 6 a.m. I remember it was daylight. Because I was talking about how... If a trophy was going to come in, it was going to come in soon. Because it was, you know, getting close to 7 a.m. And then all of a sudden, boom, it, we hit it. All right, let's get a couple more over a kilo and then we'll call it. We started super late in bre for bream time and then we're gonna start stop a little early because we wanna get some tinch time in. I'm probably not the right one to ask about recommendations on spin fishing rods. First of all, I haven't used most of the, um, good grief. Oh man, I need to, I need to mute that person. They've done that on multiple videos now, like inappropriate stuff. All right, you have both been muted from my channel. Okay. What was I saying? Can't remember now. Look at that white. Oh, about... Uh, Somebody said, what do you recommend? Let's see. What do you recommend for a spin fishing rod? Do you recommend for Volkov for Corey Lake? Thanks, I'm gonna get another Titan. Best buck for the drag. Yeah, I'm not the best one to answer your question. And here's why. There are so many new rods since I was last into spin fishing. I haven't done spin fishing in for ages. What I do is using the uh, bait casting setups. And even those, there's new rods I've never tried. Um, I kind of have my high level or, you know, fairly high level bait casting setups. And when I feel like spin fishing, which isn't that often anyway, or if I feel like trolling somewhere, which isn't that often anyway, I'm usually using those bait casting setups. So just to be honest, I just haven't tried enough to really probably be the right one to, to make recommendations on rods, spin rods. Yeah, the only thing I kind of want to do is, um, and the problem is I still have to level up spin fishing a little bit to do this, so I don't know when I'm going to actually like grind it out to do this, but I'd kind of like to open up jerk bait just to try that style of, uh, of fishing for pike. Um, it seems like at a place like Ladoga, you could maybe have a couple of feeders out and then sort of go up and down the bank a little bit with the... With the uh, with the jerk bait, that might be pretty fun, but again, I'm just not there yet. And I'm not f spin fishing ever, so I'm not really making progress towards there. Um, okay, did we ever hit that mark? Nope, we're one away. Uh, let's see can't really leave our stuff here because we're really going to be going the first spot we're going to try is like right outside the, the gate so let's just catch whatever's getting on the rods now and then we'll pack up from this spot we made a little more silver here and uh, had some fun fishing over the night time but uh, we really probably need to let this spot rest we have fished it a lot in the last two days on this account I 
hate to stop bream fishing when it's like trophy time, but I just, uh, I want to let this spot rest. It's been so good. And there's our last one. Well, no, it's a marker. It's not over a kilo though. Close. Ooh, nice. We were up to 52.3 on bottom fishing. That is very cool. All right, so let's uh, head back to town. I want to make some, at least like a couple stacks, I guess, of fake tench mix. I think we'll do a little bit uh, safer this time, though. I'm not sure I really want to put melted cheese in it again. If we had some real cheese, but I think we used it all from Corey. Or did we? Might still have a stack, actually. No, I don't think so. Okay, so. First of all, let's look at what Tinch Mix has in it typically. Corn flour. Breadcrumbs and hemp seed oil. Corn flour. So we'll go crackers. And we know that maggots are good. I wish we could use chopped worm, but we just can't. Bloodworm's probably not going to hurt anything. Uh, and then we'll do hemp seed oil, huh? sunflower oil is the only option here all right so we're just going to call it fake tench just so that it's easy to pick out corn might work i, I don't know So let's go try it out, huh? All right, let me uh, let me remember where we're heading. First spot, fifty-five, sixty-one. I fished here before, I think. There's all kind of tinch spots up and down these these shores, I think. Okay, is it still fifty-five, sixty-one? Yep. And let's see what we can get going here. Where's our fake tinch? Here it is. Um, okay, I guess we'll keep eight on this one. And we're going to try wheat seeds like straight across. We're going to try wheat seeds hard. All right, 18 clip. And I can only imagine that we're headed right over into that stuff. Yeah. Yes, we are. All right, and on this one, actually, let's do this one first because this one we're going to do 12 and wheat seeds with fake tench and get it back to 19 meters. We'll make room for the third one as well, or the second one. Let's make sure we get it over there. Boom, it didn't quite make it, did it? Let's just see what, if anything, we catch. And so this one's gonna have the ideal hook size, if you ask me. It's got a 10. We've got our fake tench. We're going 19. We're gonna really chuck this one. Yeah. That's what we want. Try some tinch fishing. So do we risk it going to bear? That's the question. 
trying to remember when I did it on my main account. I mean, you do occasionally hit a grass carp. Um, obviously, the golden tench, you know, at this level, barbel, golden tench, would be really nice stuff to catch. I have no idea what we'd do for ground bait. Um, what the heck is coriander? We would do, um, I guess, crackers, maggots. No, you know what we might do, actually? Feed maggots sunflower oil and call it fake barbel. Man, it'd be really nice if we could add cheese to it though, huh? It'd be really nice if we could add cheese to it. I have no idea if that'll work or not. All right, first fish is A. Let's see what these wheat seeds are catching. If anything besides tench, or is it just going to be tench? Hey, that's tench. That's a nice tench. Whew. That's a really nice tench.
What is that? Uh oh. Hopefully not a sign of things to come here. That's why I put the smallest hook on this one. That's a healthy one. Oh, it's not a tinch. Oh, don't start doing that to me. Remember, uh, remember what happened at Corey? Oh shoot, I didn't put that video up. So remember I've told you I started making a video at Corey and the fishing was so bad I just kind of skipped right over it. I just basically went there, did some fishing, had no luck, and just bought some ingredients for cottage cheese dough. But um, while I was there, I was, you know, just enjoying just like that crystal clear water. And I would put like pearl barley right off the dock so I could see the fish come up you know, be interested in the pearl barley, but like some of them would come up, kind of nibble at it and then swim off. And it so, and it seemed like sometimes that might've been like if I had too big of a hook or if it looked like a fish species that wasn't interested in the pearl barley or something, I don't know, it was weird, but sometimes you do get like interest in your bait, but it doesn't complete the bite. And you don't really think of that happening, or at least I don't until you're at quarry or somewhere where you can really see the fish come up and you kind of see the process of it, checking it out, and then either going ahead and getting on there or, in some cases, just swimming away. And I kind of forget that that's happening some. So fish are like, uh, fish are being, you know, are coming in, looking, and then swimming away. So I'm not always uh, actually completing the catch. Spawning in, that's the word I was looking for. Because you don't just, in this game, you don't just see fish swimming around. They they spawn based on what you're fishing with in certain spots. At least I think the way that's been described is is based on the technology, the, the, uh, the engine, that uh, with all of the complexities of how this is made, that, that that's the way it has to be that the idea that they could just have like a, a, a huge number of fish just like constantly swimming around the lake uh, wouldn't work with, with the technology or something, something like that. Because early on there were always like, like a lot of questions like, like why can't we just see fish activity or, or uh, which I mean obviously there's still ways you could do that without actually spawning in large number of fish I say there's ways you could do that I mean I'm I am not I don't understand the technical side of programming at all but um, but you know Corey is so clear if there were just fish swimming around constantly in many spots of Corey you'd just be able to look down and you'd just be able to see them but unless you actually have a line in and, and, and you cause a fish to spawn, you're not going to be able to see it. Well, whatever this fish is, it's very nice. It's kind of hanging out right across from us. It's not going too far. It's wait until it gets tired. It's probably a tench then. That's my guess. It's a very nice fish. Yeah, it looks like a tinch. I 
like it. Two and a half kilo. That is a pretty fish. Yeah, so wheat seeds seem to be working really well. Chance of getting some grass carp, obviously, but um, definitely hitting what we're wanting to hit. Where are we on the map? Yeah. We're going to see what this fish is that's nibbling here, and then we're going to go try the other spot. This spot's working great. This spot seems to be a really good active tench spot. And next we're going to try the boot down at the pond. Another grassy, and and this is one reason why I'm going to the uh, to the to the pond because if they're biting this well in the pond, then we can a little more safely manage the occasional grass carp that's a little too big for our gear, or at least better than we can up here. It's been a while since these were good spots. Uh, bream spot here, sort of out in the middle there. You see where the hole is, six, six meter hole. And then tench spot here. Uh, first, My first tench trophy was caught right here. I'll have to try that off, 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 video, off recording sometime on my main account or something. I haven't fished there in a long time. Basically, you can see where we usually fish for bream, or where we have been recently. The bream spot's like right here. Uh, I have no idea where to cast here, actually. Um... here and say it's short though we'll see if any of that does anything about one fourth of the way there until we can buy our alpha still got a lot of silver to make
So the only two species we've caught so far on wheat seeds has been tench and grass. Tench and grass and gibble. <laughs> huh. Size 12 hook for that gibble. So that bite went away, it looks like. Let's see what's on this one, if it actually does bite. If not, I think we might need to move the move the cast a little bit. That is a tiny tinch, so this might be okay. Hmm.
that other spot maybe seem better, but it is the case that like time of day, this is, you know, pretty slow time of day as well. The other spot we were fishing in the morning, which tends to be a little better for tench, although here in the evening it should pick up if they're here. I just may not be casting in the right spot. I never got a clip on this spot, and I sometimes a clip is different for this place. I know this is a little different type of game, but are any of you all going to play Maneater? I think it comes out Friday. On uh, PC and consoles. I'm actually leaving town Friday. So if you don't see any updates or any episodes for a couple days, it's because I have gone out of town. Uh, we won't be gone long. Just just two or three days, though. Look at that little black carp. Have you ever seen such a cute little fish? 150 grams. That's amazing. All right, guys, I don't recommend you do this. We're probably going to get in some trouble here, to say the least. This is not as good as silver as bream. It's not safe. Now, XP-wise, you could hit it big with some Golden Tinch. And uh, Barbel are pretty decent, too. But uh, I, I just sort of want to try it, you know. This is our first time at Bear Lake. I think this is the first time I've ever been to Bear Lake on a leveling series. We're going down to 55.33. And we're going to do a 15... I have no idea what uh, hook size I was using the other night. Where's our fake barbel? I mean, I think we want to start small. I didn't, uh, on my little map, I didn't put what size I was using. So we want to use cheese here. We really could just do try try the same size as we were using um, that wasn't very, that wasn't a long enough cast. What I found, I think overall, at least on my, um, main account is it seemed like more to the left was where I was getting the most consistent bites, but I don't know, we'll see. And again, 
I wouldn't do this with, uh, I don't recommend doing this with the type of gear we have. I just want to check it out briefly, see what it's like. I mean, even a six kilo barbel, maybe on our strongest rig here, we would get it in eventually. Everything else, it'd be a nightmare. That is a uh, mirror. Yeah, and see, if we're going to catch any sort of percentage of mirrors, it's going to be miserable. I think barbel. I think you can catch barbel on, on, a, on a good bit larger hook, but I don't want to open myself up to any bigger carp than I have to. Um, golden tench hook size really should be similar to tench hook size, so we're good on our current hook size, but man, this is scary stuff. Oof. That bite, though. That looks scary, didn't it? Gosh, we need to lower our drag on this. There you go. You know, I think it took me, look at that 10,000 experience. I think it took me about two years to catch a golden tinch on my main account. We've done it on this account in less than a month. Looks like a little barbel. Obviously, it's undersized, but 
that's really the fish that we're hoping to catch more consistently here. Golden tench, of course, will just be a rare off catch, but 10,000 experience is a lot, though, for this level. A fish worth 10,000 experience. This spot will be pretty slow at night, like overnight. So we're not going to stay long. It's not that expensive to travel to bear, though. So we could, you know, do like... That's what we want. 1,300 experience. And reasonably okay silver. So we could travel. I mean... As long as you're catching stuff like this right now and you can, you know, if you have the gear to risk it, it might be an interesting strategy to pop over here during the day and then pop back and fish for bream at Old Berg. I don't know. But again, if we do this long enough, we will eventually get absolutely wrecked by something. Okay. I'm going to have to wrap this up. Let's see if we can at least get one of these fish that are still on here or that are biting right now. This one is okay not too bad we can handle the 639 gram barbel yeah we're about to have server restart too hopefully spots stay uh, relatively similar nothing drastic at least we'll see though man we have been waiting forever for this bite that makes me think it's a grass carp few things in this game nibble as long as grass carp do. I wonder if I should interrupt it.
I sort of have to go abruptly. So I think I'm just going to sell all the fish here. Ooh, look at that bite. Gosh. Okay, we're okay. I think I'm just going to fish, sell all the fish here in case next episode we want to start here. It'll depend on what time of day it is. So that was a barbel nibbling like that. Okay. Okay. So let's go right over there to Bear Lake uh, headquarters. And we'll sell our old bird fish as well so that none of them get too old. Not knowing when we'll start our next episode. And... Um, yeah it's been a fun a fun fishing session for sure 120 silver that golden tench 33 silver by itself the carmen barbel 10 silver. so you can kind of imagine if you like have a lucky hour of fishing or daytime of fishing you could do pretty well here on silver but um but but not as consistent as the bream when that bream spot's really hitting off all right there we go Perfect. I love it. Our first experience in bear. Way too soon. Probably shouldn't be here yet, but it's also it's also fun to try it out. I will see you next time. It will certainly be after the restart before I get any more fishing in. So um, we'll see how, how spots are at that point. But uh, thanks for watching.